Live from Central Pennsylvania, this is CBS 21 News at 5. 150 years of history gone within hours. The Broad Street Market engulfed by an accidental overnight blaze. Everybody just treats everybody like a good old neighbor in this neighborhood. This market matters. It's mattered for more than a century. It's a gathering place. Yeah, the governor knows it, and you probably do too. The heartbeat of Harrisburg just turned to ashes. So tonight, your memories of the staple over the years and what's next for its legacy. The overnight fire claiming everything but the brick of the market building. The sense of community that's rising from the rubble and how you can help. We have team coverage tonight with an update from local officials and the outpouring of support from the community. CBS 21's Michael Gorsinger live on the scene with everything we know so far about that fire, how it started and what's next for Harrisburg. Our lease person also live with the pulse of Central PA in the fallout of the fire. Thanks for being here with us at 5. I'm Joel D. Smith. I'm Jasmine Brooks. Calls to rebuild growing loud today. City and state leaders beginning the painstaking process of what planning will look like. All right, CBS 21's Michael Gorsker kicking off our coverage right now. He's in Harrisburg with that damage left behind and all those flames. Michael. Certainly an immense amount of damage left behind by this early morning fire here at the Broad Street Market. In fact, just take a look at the highness, uh, what used to be the roof here at the top of the market. It is indeed completely gone. Just a charred beams. A few of them is all that remain in this end of the Broad Street Market. Now the process begins to plan the rebuild. It will take significant time and effort, but city and state leaders say it will indeed happen. Flames blowing through the roof of the windows in the Broad Street Market, getting such a head start on the fire responders. The building just never stood a chance. Once the 1 a.m. flames were extinguished, catastrophic damage inside. Yeah. Investigators determining a malfunctioning ceiling fan installed in 2017, the cause of the spark that ignited the building. Luckily, fire crews able to save half of the brick building and the entire stone building associated with the market. But 40 vendors out of work. Half of the 1874 built building, merely a shell. Despite the odds, Governor Josh Shapiro and local, local state representatives, along with the mayor of Harrisburg, vowing the historic building will be returned to its former glory. We will rebuild it. We will rebuild the building. And we will rebuild its business. This market matters. It's mattered for more than a century. It's a gathering place. It's a great place of great fellowship. It, is a place that uh, we love and we are excited to see rebuilt. Now, after spending the first half of the day in Berks County dealing with the community ravaged by floods, Governor Josh Shapiro visiting the site of the fire. Despite the damage, the governor promising the Commonwealth will work to do everything in its power to help not only support the rebuild, but the vendors, some who have lost everything in the wake. Coming up on CBS 21 News at 530, a deeper look into that plan already being mapped out by state leaders to help foster the regrowth of the Broad Street market. Now at this point, though the cause has been determined, no damage estimates are available for this project. The city of Harrisburg, along with the market owner's plan to actually spearhead the rebuild of this, the state going to try and chip in not only support, but money to try and bring this place back, although it will take significant significant time and significant money to make that happen. Live in Harrisburg, Michael Gorsuch, CBS 21 News. The community is praying for them and that, you know, we hope they re can rebuild because this is something that's needed in this neighborhood. Our break as we've been talking about in Harrisburg right now, but also a hopeful look to the future. CBS 21's Elise Person live in Harrisburg with how the community is reacting to all this loss. Really an icon now gone. Elise. Well, the history of the Broad Street Market and its prominence here in the city of Harrisburg dates back centuries. Neighbors say that the loss of this market, it's going to be felt deeply by all. Now I say dating back centuries. This market was founded during the Civil War and in its peak during the 1920s. The market had over 725 vendors, many of which leased outdoor space until an indoor spot would become available. So from then until now, it served as a staple of the Harrisburg community. And today the market houses nearly 40 vendors and some say it's just heartbreaking to see the loss of people's livelihoods. Neighbors also say it's been really difficult coming to terms with the loss of what they call the glue to Midtown Harrisburg. The, this is like 
losing a relative who's been around for a really long time, like a great-grandmother or the heart and soul of Midtown. Neighbors also say there's a resounding sense that something positive will come out of this devastating loss in Harrisburg's fire chief. They say that the stone building as part of the market that could be open as soon as next week and it'll serve as the backbone of the market until they're able to get this building behind me here back up and running. For now, I'll send it back to you in the studio. Elise Person, thank you. We asked you at home. What do you think of when you think of the Broad Street Market? And your comments have been so amazing. I'm excited to share them with you now. Check out this one from Ashley Schwartz. I want to show you this beautiful picture. Besides the vendors, we had our engagement photos there last year. And check this one from Carl Leal, or I should, yeah, uh, my grandparents met there in the early 1920s. They were married in 1923. Uh, I worked across the street for many years, and then we used to walk there almost every week for lunch. Uh, look at this one. My husband, as a child, around 1948, would take his wagon and carry ladies' bags home, and they would tip him. Uh, this one from Nora says, my parents selling produce many moons ago, and the cookie man would throw crumbs over to us. Every once in a while, we would have a dime and go to the 5 and 10 store to spend it. Do you remember the 5 and 10 store? All right, and let's do one more. Jeff Brady says, I worked for Kessler Meats at the market in the early 90s. So sad to hear of the fire this morning. I mean, we have so many comments and we'll share more with you coming up in the next half hour. But for now, here are some devastating pictures of the fire. You can see the flames engulfing the roof of the brick building. With the market being such a vital piece of Harrisburg, we want to hear what you have to say. We do have continuing coverage at CBS21.com. Share your memories with us on social media and then tag us so we can share them with the community on air and online. And if you would like to help with the recovery and rebuilding of the Broad Street Market, you can donate through their website. Ed? And the Northeast battered with brutal weather this weekend, as you can tell by this uh, severe flooding video coming out of Redding in Berks County and that was the same area of rain that brought some big impacts to our neck of the woods yesterday. The flash flooding of course a little bit worse further east across eastern portions of Pennsylvania. Let's uh, show you outside if we can. Tower cam looking absolutely gorgeous with some sunshine. See the a uh, few pop-up clouds as we uh, rolled through the afternoon but as far as rain we've been largely rain free much of the day. However we are tracking a few showers even maybe a quick thunderstorm could slide into northern Dolphin County over the next hour or two. You can see up towards Mifflinburg into uh, the north central.